Hello, hello friends. I have another candle review for you today and this one I am pretty excited to talk about. So this is Homeworks by the Fireside. Now this is a little bit different format than what you typically see me review. This is their three wick 14 ounce jar. Now these typically I think retail for around $25 on the Homeworks website. This one is currently available on the Homeworks website as well as at Ulta. So um, I would not pay $25 for this candle. I'm just going to say that right from the get-go because I know that Hallmarks has frequently run um, candle specials of like two for 20 on this. Who knows? Maybe it'll go lower for Black Friday. I don't have any inside info on that. I'm just speculating. Um, but I do know that you can also use influencer codes a lot of the time. So yeah, that would be a great way to purchase it. Or if you like to purchase through Ulta, uh, well, the shipping department, you run some risks there, but if you like getting the points or whatnot, this is also available there. So the label here is not a wraparound label, which I personally think is a little bit prettier, but I, I'll forgive it. It's okay on this one. The, the label looks generic, but pretty. I think especially when the candle is lit up like this, you can see that the label also lights up and it does kind of look like an authentic fireplace. I wish I had a fireplace in my home. I do not. So let's go ahead and get into the scent notes on this one. This is warm embers, mold spice, golden amber, and cedar wood. So this candle, if any of you are familiar with the QVC trios that have come out in the past few years. I believe this was part of a trio that was out two years ago. I believe it was two years ago, 2020, I think. And I remembered that I really loved it. It was in a blue jar. I mean, the, the packaging on it was gorgeous. I would love for that packaging to come back. And it was, it was part of a trio. There was also, was it Balsam White Birch was in that one. I'm trying to remember. There was, it was, it was a trio. And Brett, Philly Candleman, was the one who let me know that that's what this scent was when it was released a couple of months ago. Of course, remembering that I loved it, I instantly picked up two of them. Now, if you are familiar with Winter Fireside, this is nowhere near as smoky as Winter Fireside. There is a little bit of that cedar wood note in here. I wouldn't even classify this as really a smoky scent. What my nose detects is that golden amber, a little bit of the spice, um, and maybe a hint of smokiness from the warm embers, whatever fragrance notes they are using to put that accord together. But this is more of like a woodsy cinnamon scent to my nose than it is really actual fireside. So like I said, if you are familiar with um, winter fireside and you find that absolutely too smoky, I would say this one, this just give this one a try. Don't be afraid of it because it is nowhere near as smoky as winter fireside. This to my nose smells a little bit like a combination of winter fireside, Bath and Body Works marshmallow fireside with a little bit of that sweetness in there. And um, what was the other Homeworks? There was another fireside candle that Homeworks did last year. Uh, crackling fireside. I believe it was crackling fireside. That one had more of like a spiciness to it. I feel like this candle right here is a combination of all three of those scents that I just described, which may be a little bit hard, but I would say that the smoky note is probably, this is probably the quote unquote fire scent that has the least amount of smokiness to it to my nose. So let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this one because there are some things that I feel like I have finally figured out, not just with these three wicks, but also with um, some of the four wick wicks. So I'm going to go ahead and try to pick this up so that way you can see. Um, let's see. All right. So you're seeing a little bit of wax residue that has fallen into the wax pool. Overall though, the wicks are doing pretty well for me. If you look on the side here, I'm getting a clean burn, tiny little bit of sooting right there. Um, not really bad though. 
So the wicks on these, what I am going to say is that the trick with these is that you cannot trim them too short because if you trim them too short, you're going to get puny wick syndrome. That ended up happening to me on the sparkling cinnamon one. Of course, right after I did a review on it, I started to experience puny wicks and I realized it was because I... I didn't think that I was trimming the wicks too short, but I think these wicks are a little bit more sensitive. So if you are having some of the issues of the wicks carbon balling or mushrooming at the top, what I would say is be careful with trimming those off. What you might want to do instead is let the wax completely cool. And then I took a tip from my friend Melanie where she suggested getting a tissue and just very, very lightly removing the excess carbon from the tops of the wicks, of course, once the wax pool has completely cooled. Um, but go ahead and remove it that way. And I have done that on the last couple of burns, not only with this candle, but with a couple of my four wicks that I was noticing um, just some puny wicks, which is really weird for me because I've never had that issue with Hallmark's candles. Well, no, I have um, a few years ago, but not recently. It has not been in recent memory that I've had that issue with Hallmark's. So if you're experiencing that, try that because I found that once I did that on these last couple of burns, I feel like the wick issue has kind of self-corrected and now my candles are completely pulling out and giving me beautiful flames. All right, the strength and throw of this one. To nobody's surprise, these three wicks, they don't have as large of a wax pool base as the four wicks, so you are not going to have as strong of a strength and throw on this one. Strength of this candle, I would say honestly, is maybe a five. Throw, mm, probably about a four. I would say four to five. It, it's not, this one is not going to bowl you over. However, I would suggest this candle be burned maybe in a bathroom or maybe a smaller bedroom if you have a guest bedroom or maybe in your own bedroom. Um, currently, I am burning it in my master bedroom and it's giving a beautiful scent here. Nothing to be overwhelming or headache inducing, a very pleasant, warm, cozy background scent, which is why I would repurchase this one, even though it is not a powerhouse, if I purchase it with the intention of knowing that this is a quote unquote bedroom candle or a small room candle, if those are what my expectations are, then it is going to meet those expectations. This is not going to fill an open concept living room. Even my living room, this one does not fill it at all. Um, I, I can smell it a little bit, but where I really get to pick it up is in my bedroom. And I will say that in the bedroom, I actually notice that it throws a lot better because I can smell it in my master bathroom. Um, actually, I can smell it stronger in my master bathroom than I usually can in my master bedroom, even though it's burning in there. Kind of an odd phenomenon, but there it is. Let me know in the comment box down below, do you like this fragrance? Did you love it back when it was part of the QVC trio and were you excited to see it return? I would love to see Harry and his team put this in the four wick format because if I'm honest with you, this is probably, well, I don't know. I, I love winter fireside because I love smoky scents, but this one is right up there with um, a beautiful, warm, cozy winter scent. This is not necessarily a quote unquote Christmas candle. This is one that would be beautiful to pair with a tree note this time of year, but you can also get away with burning this one well into February. I would say this is just a nice, cozy, inviting candle. Everybody I know who has smelled this one, even my quote unquote non-fragrance loving friends really, really like it. So yes, two thumbs up for me in terms of um, the scent on it, um, performance, and maybe your expectations of strength and throw. I've given you fair warning, so as long as you are okay with that, then I give you the green light. If not, then maybe you might want to pass on it. But like I said, these typically I get for around $10 or less, and that is what I would pay for it. I would not pay any more for these candles. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button really helps me out. And if you are just coming across my channel for the first time, or maybe you are a returning viewer, but you haven't hit that subscribe button, 
Don't be afraid. I promise I won't bite. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to say thank you so much for spending your time here with me today and until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye!